Hi everyone, my name is Roshni. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. This channel is called Beta Grow Up and it's where we take control of our mental health. So today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. This is one of the foundations of my life coaching. I use NLP in a day-to-day -day basis in my own personal life. I have no idea how much it has honestly helped me in my life. Um, just be able to kind of figure out what's going on in my own head and then start to take steps to really take control of that and change the narrative. But I also use it with every single one of my clients when I'm life coaching and it's really easy to personalize and I think that's what I love about it so much. And I give you a really short overview of what NLP is. NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Essentially, the entire concept of NLP is based on detecting your subconscious thoughts and then reprogramming those thoughts. So we all have plenty of subconscious thoughts always going on and a lot of them um, hold a lot of really serious beliefs about us, um, beliefs that stem from our childhood or potentially even beyond. Having all these different fears constantly running through our mind is not good and it's honestly better to be aware of those fears and to be aware of your triggers or your weaknesses than it is to kind of let them run wild and not have any control over how or when they show up. My kinesthetic anchor video also shows you a really quick method within NLP that you can use at work, at school, wherever you are. Um, it's really discreet. So if you're curious, check out that video. And then I also have another video that's an overview on what NLP is and the different things that it can do. And that is over on my page. Patreon. It's a really quick video, but it has a lot more information than I can include in this video. What I wanted to talk about today is programming your space. So some of you might have been back in school for a couple of months, some of you might be starting a new job, whether it's college or school or a new job. I always feel like fall kind of signifies starting something new, maybe a new goal, and that kind of inspired me to create this video. So basically, I wanted to talk about programming your space. Now what that means is NLP kind of gives you a lot of different tools that you can use to kind of instantly be transported into a certain kind of space, a certain kind of emotion, and I'm not saying that this is some sort of magic spell. I know that to a lot of you this might sound really woo-woo or really far-fetched, and I am not trying to convert anyone. I don't want to make anyone believe anything that they can't believe. NLP is just one tool amongst many that you can use, but there are some very, very important and useful tools, and they're very practical in terms of being able to use them in everyday life. Most of us can't just call up our therapist at any single moment, um, so if you're having a panic attack, if something is really wrong, it's always great to have a bunch of additional tools that you can kind of tap into and use in moments of crisis. I recently moved apartments and I have a completely new home office and I really wanted to make sure that in this office I am using the space to the best of my ability. I am kind of doubling making this like a little yoga studio that's really simple with a place that I do my work so I really wanted to kind of have a mental division between those two. Yoga is really relaxing, and yes, there's a side of personal development to it, but I wanna kind of be in different mindsets when I'm doing yoga versus when I'm at my desk doing work. I'm going to show you how you can visualize and use your thoughts, use the experiences you've already had in your life to kind of create an atmosphere around a specific place. So um, even if you feel like a lot of this is woo-woo, I think we can all agree on one main point, that you can feel an energy when you walk into a place. You could feel if somewhere is scary or haunted or maybe unsafe. You could feel if somewhere is specifically comforting or luxurious. So we want to create that same kind of feeling around our physical space. You could use this with a desk at work or your desk at school. You could use it with your locker at school or you could use this with your bed. If you have, you know, a lot of anxiety or a lot of insomnia and you can't go to sleep, you want to kind of create like a relaxing atmosphere around your bed. No matter where in the world it is, no matter what the emotion it is that you want to bring up or connect to that space, this is possible. So the very first thing I like to do, this isn't necessarily a part of NLP, this is just something that I feel is necessary, is to kind of cleanse the space. So any space, especially if it's a locker, at school, a desk, at work, um, it's normally something that a lot of people have used, that people probably used before you, um, or in some way or another it's some sort of public space, and even with my apartment, obviously it's not a public space, but someone obviously also lived here before I did. So there's always um, kind of remnant and energy in a place and so you want to cleanse that just to kind of cleanse the air, start over, and kind of create a fresh 
neutral slate. I like to burn sage if it's like a locker or somewhere, you know, up an office somewhere that you aren't allowed to physically have smoke. You could um, spray like a sage essential oil and kind of mix that with a little bit of water, just spray it in your locker or something like that. Or you could also visualize a white light. So you could visualize a bright white clean cleansing light um, coming from above and just kind of filling every corner, every little bit of that space. And then you can picture, you know, beams of light coming from, you know, the sides or coming from below and just kind of in your mind, visualize it. You could be at the space or you could just picture the space in your mind if you're at home and just kind of visualize a complete cleansing of that space. Set the intention in your mind while you are cleansing to completely cleanse and neutralize the space, get rid of any negative residual energy um, or just any residual energy period. This is what I always do, even if I'm just saging my house, I will sage once to neutralize the energy and then sage a second time with the intention. So I will say, you know, I'm setting the intention of creativity in this space. The second point is to think of the theme or the emotion or kind of the mental state you want to be in that place. So like I said before, if it's your bedroom or your bed, you know, you might want to really tone things down and be relaxed and step back and kind of not think about a lot of things. For me, using my desk at home, I want to be motivated, I want to be creative, I want to be, you know, passionate about what I'm working on. So the first step you want to take is just to visualize that circle of light encircling the entire space. So you could decide if you want it to be your whole bedroom, you could decide if you want it to be your specific bed, but make sure that that entire space is completely covered in a beautiful circle of light. Now. This light is different from what you just pictured before because that was a cleansing light. This is just kind of creating like this bubble. You know, you could think of it as a personal space bubble, um, something like that. So then I want you to kind of be in that space. So I, you know, can walk over to my desk, you could make sure that you do this in the morning when you get to your locker or when you get to the desk at work. If you are in that space, think about all of the memories that you have and try to recreate the feeling that aligns with the emotion or the theme that you want to set in that place. So with the insomnia example, you would maybe want to think about all the times that you were the most relaxed, maybe times that you were laying on the beach on vacation or laying in a hammock or, you know, just hanging out with your friends at home and just being totally chill and completely relaxed. And then, you know, you might even want to physically lay down on your bed and play some meditation music or play some sleeping music. So you're laying in your bed and you're kind of visualizing yourself laying in your bed with this bubble surrounding you while you're thinking about being relaxed, while you're maybe playing some meditation or some sleeping music or any other music that relaxes you. You're literally recreating and thinking about the exact way you want to feel when you lay down and hit that bed every single night. So with my office, for example, I want to be motivated, like I said. So I'm thinking about, you know, my college graduation, walking across that stage. I'm thinking of a lot of successful presentations that I've done. I'm thinking about hearing, you know, a room applause for me. I'm thinking about the times that I've just been really proud, really productive. I'm even thinking about times that I've been able to work really hard for no recognition and just that self-satisfaction that I get from, you know, still doing those things. So I'm thinking about all these different things while I'm in this space and that's what I'm picturing filling this bubble, you know? So I can give those emotions different colors. I can let those memories completely play out in my mind. You can take this as far as you want to and that is pretty much it. So you can spend, I would spend at least three to five minutes maybe visualizing something like that. If you are busy or it's at school and you don't want to stay and in front of your locker at school with your eyes closed picturing all these things that's completely okay you can kind of just visualize it in your head you can think about those memories between every single period when you're getting your next book you can think about one happy memory with your eyes open even while talking to a friend you could just mentally have a flashback it, visualizing is no different than a daydream if you have an active mind if you have a big imagination or if you ever daydream or think about things that's what visualizing is it's really so much more simple than it sounds and if you have any questions about this exercise please do let me know in the comments below and if you end up using it or you try it also let me know how it went and what you think all my other videos and links where I talk about NLP are down below I'm actually gonna have a really cool podcast come out that I'm talking about NLP on so if you want to be updated on when that comes out uh, please go ahead and follow my Instagram and my Twitter that is where I'll be talking about it I love you all so so much thank you for watching happy healing